Star Wars. Maybe this video should be about coming up with ideas. No. Dude, just watch your, uh, you know, our collaboration's important video, which is a fantastic video, I loved it, thanks for including me. But your teaser on Twitter was fire, man. You gotta make a tutorial about how to make a teaser, because you're crushing Okay, it. okay. Let's do that. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, think about clicking that subscribe button. So today, let's talk about teasers and why they're so important. How many of us are sitting at home watching TV, maybe drinking some coffee, and a trailer or a teaser comes on TV, it immediately catches your attention and you're like, yes, I need to go to the theaters and see this immediately. It just captivates you, it, you know, just, I don't know what that is. Don't feel like you're alone because that is what trailers are intended for. Teasers, in my opinion, are just as crucial as a thumbnail for your video. And I believe they come down to two different styles. The first one is a highlight. It's 10 to 15 seconds, sometimes maybe 20 of just highlights of your video overall in general with some banger music, some of the best clips just to captivate you, to draw you in. The second is the cliffhanger. Pretty self-explanatory. You lead up to a sentence and then you cut it off right at the end just to draw people in that were like, oh, I wanna know what that ending was. Both are killer ways to draw people into your video and get them to click that link. But my personal favorite, I like to merge the two together. That's my secret sauce. I like to take the cliffhanger and the highlight and draw them together. So it's a cliff highlight, the, the cliff highlight. High hanger, that sounds bad. The cliff high hanger light. I'm really bad with names. So I like to find a portion that is me talking about basically what's in the video but not giving everything away. Just like thumbnails really shouldn't be you walking on the beach if it's you in Alaska because that just doesn't make sense at all. And in my opinion, most people are gonna click on it and they're gonna go, nope, screw that, I'm out, deuces. I find a really good piece that I can slap in the beginning or at the end, you know, dealer's choice. And then I put some banger shots around it. Sometimes I lay it on top of it, just just mix it up a little bit. You know, same thing, just, just feel it out, you know, do, do what you do. And take the thumbnail, slap it at the end, put some titles on top of it, boom. It doesn't have to be that long. You can do the cliffhanger, you can do the highlight one, or you can do the cliff highlight hanger one, lama jamma magic. So I highly encourage you, if you're not using teasers for your videos, you really should be. For me personally, I saw my view count go up when I started doing teasers on my Twitter, my Facebook, all the platforms. It made people just want to click on it a little bit more. That's it for me today, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really does help. Drop that comment below. Let me know what you think. Are you making teasers for your videos? Because I am. I'd like to know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Iron Giant out.